What is up, everyone? Welcome back to some more Dengen Rumpa. Okay. I don't want the voices to be as loud as last time. Last time they were like screaming at me. So I think the last place we took off, Monokuma woke Haj oh, Hajime Makoto up and told him that um some I don't know. I don't know if somebody was dead or. He just told him to wake up, something like that. Uh, um... I don't know what's going on. Hey! Yaki yeah, don't give a single fuck. Hmm. Wait, so someone dead? Perhaps. Murder. To hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility for us explained to my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Sometimes uh, I forget um, how it So if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Yesterday being the day that Monokuma... Sorry if you hear a video playing in the background. I'm watching, I'm watching Nina Bonina Brown because I live. Um, he had, like, papers of everyone's worst secrets that I know... Makoto's was that he wet the bed until like fifth or sixth grade or something. Huh? Can't be. The stuff was just a bunch of old memories. I actually, <laughs> I actually know like some of them because I searched it because I was nosy. I know like um, Makoto's was he wet the bed. I don't know if Yasuhiro's was that he owes someone a yakuza girl money or if he tells you that, but I do know that Yasuhiro owes a girl. Which is funny, because he owes the girl in the Yakuza money, and it turns out that the girl he owes money to is Fuyuhiko's sister. So, he owes the Kuzuryu clan, like, millions of dollars, or yen. Um, Kiyotaka's, I think, is that his grandfather was, like, exiled or something. Well, not exiled, but he, he, he did something, and he shamed the family. I think Mondo's was that he killed his brother, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not saying what Coco's is, because that's a part of the plot. Is that her secret? I don't remember if that's her secret. I don't even remember if Mondo's is a secret, if I just know that. Some of these, I don't even know if they're secrets or if they're just things that I know. Um... For some reason, I want to say Byaki is, is like the Togami Empire fell or something, but I know that's not it. I'm over here telling y'all lies. I said he is just, she like donuts or something. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. It's like a co-op <laughs> game. What good does it do to me to get... Can I read? What good does it do me to get out of... I can't read, so I'm just gonna skip just off. Just the worst! Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? I'm gonna steal that for serious. Wait. It's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's split up and begin looking. The game is afoot. Nigga, you're a part of this. I don't trust... I don't trust you right now. Yeah, so this morning, I made a smoothie, and, um, wait a minute. So, I knocked um... on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they go see what happened? Then what about the stuff before the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us, so it seems like it's the natural place for. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying, I made a smoothie earlier for breakfast, and, um, it was like, wait a minute. Yo! Hey, Makoto, honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious? About Byakuya. You think he's brainwashed for what? Or what? Or what? I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. You're clairvoyant. Listen, Makoto, I think you completely misunderstood what it is I do. Okay, listen. Fortune telling well? is like, it's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any other pseudo scientific bullcrap. Look at uh. this. I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to yell that. 
um, oh yeah, I made this smoothie, and it had like, um, strawberries, raspberries, apple juice, and pear. All I'm saying is, if you're constipated, drink that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Uh, oh. Um, don't know where I'm going. Actually, to be honest, to be honest, I don't know where I'm going. I don't think somebody would get killed in the library, because that's a whack place to kill somebody, to be honest. Huh? The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? What the hell? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. So somebody did Please die. Please look around to your heart's content. I'm not even gonna fry. I really didn't even remember what the hell goes on in this chapter. It's all clear now. I thought. Yakia. I see. Judging from what he said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. Hmm. In the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious. Inspicious. Suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Why are they suspicious? <laughs> See somebody search the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He's wondering is if Chol is talking to himself. Why does he know? Like, why is he the door swung open without a sound? In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Fuck! Someone did die. I don't remember who it was. Yes, I do. Oh my god, it was Chihiro. Oh my god. But as soon as I did. Ah! Oh, Makoto? Don't do that shit in my ear. Oh my god. Watch a hero. And why does his head. Like, oh my god, I see his head is bleeding, so he must have got brat bashed his skull. But why do his eyes look like that? Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm. Almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look at her eyes! They look like, I don't know, buttholes. Fat punanis or something. Don't they look like swollen? I'm not gonna repeat what I just said. Something's bad. <laughs> bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? <laughs> That's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. <laughs> Interesting. If whoever did it, did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was reeling too confused to understand what he was trying to say. Before I could even begin to clear what my the mind. Heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something. <laughs> Alright, you ain't gotta do that shit in my ear. A body has been discovered! A body has been discovered! He's sick. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like. Monochrome, we don't gotta hear this. We just lost a friend. What? Body discovery announcement. Oh my god, I forgot he passed out when Sayaka died. That is so funny. When three or more people discover a body and now it's replaced, let everyone know. I imagine so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly. <laughs> body discovery announcement. Jihiro really is Naturally. dead, yes. But this way he killed Jihiro. He killed Jihiro. <laughs> when you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up. It seems another game is done. <laughs> Their life or death game to uncover a killer. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It's like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Well, could someone investigate? Like, this poor Damn. thing. Damn. <laughs> so there's another victim. Hmm. <sighs> 
which means we are now in the same position once again. I forgot the accent I gave her, but she was my favorite voice, and I forgot, and now I'm angry. Uh, Man. What the? What the, is that? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. It's, it's a nightmare. I, I haven't even been born yet. I don't even have any more being alive. Can I read fucking fat? Loris? I'm saying, Celeste, literally. Shut up. No. What's more important than a bloody dumbbell, you dingus? What the hell? Shiro's body? Is that what's more important? Hmm. I don't care about blood left being written in the wall. You all just people are just standing here doing nothing. So I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. <laughs> the thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it seem kind of familiar? <laughs> a murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method at at the scene of each crime the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. You know what? I have a theory. I think he wanted to fuck, um, the serial killer. And nobody can hide that, because there's no reason you should be this obsessed with a freaking serial killer. What? What? Genocide Jack, yeah. I was gonna call him Genocide or Shell, because that's what they call him in the anime. Murderous fiends, grizzly attacks are famous all over the country. The ultimate murderous fiend created a reputation of... The ultimate. Imagine that what is your is ultimate this? title. The ultimate murderous fiend. This is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack style. But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. And how do you know that my good sis has what? The real. What are you saying? Genocide Jack is here in the school. No way. There's no way. Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. I don't think they would do it. That's the thing. If well. you're, if you're a good, like if you're as good of a serial killer as Genocide Jack is, that they've never gotten caught this far, there's no way they would do something like that. Crap in the school, where they would be the culprit. Ah. Please. What about Toko? Oh, did Toko pass <laughs> out? She can't deal with blood. <laughs> Oh, she's freaking out. <laughs> she can't do a blood. I forgot she can't do a blood. <laughs> Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Oh. Let's um... write what she said about how she faints every time she sees blood. Oh. So she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Her voice uh, will come to me. Um... This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she's passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think she'll be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Oh, so since she didn't faint on purpose, doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second! Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she heard her, as if she heard her Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up in the air, changing her stance as she did. What? And now it's time flat. She was just standing up. What's good with her? Huh? <sighs> Sorry about that. I was just shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? What's up with her face? Toko, are you okay? <sighs> I'm fine, I'm fine. What is that laugh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's that laugh. Oh. What was that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> oh my god, she's unhinged. What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> I don't like this laugh. There was a front and a back, a top and a bottom, a sea of truth, and a web of flies. Well. It's quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. <laughs> No, 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 she's <sighs> fine. At least the stutter's all gone. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Nasty laugh inserted. I see! Clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Damn, mm. she's not all there. Maybe best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, I don't um... mind taking her, but someone could someone help me? Mm -hmm. You need help. I don't mind. Um... 
Uh, oh, hmm. The girl, you take care of the girl. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second. You're rushing to an. Hmm. Makoto! She's dead. Like, she's literally tied up, bleeding from the dome. Are you stupid? What happened last time? I'm sure you didn't realize. Don't make me repeat myself. There's no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. There's an imposter among us. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> of course! <laughs> right as rain. But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because. Yahoo! That's how graduation works. Look at her body. No, she's just sitting there with blood gushing from her head for fun, Ma Ma Makoto. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I'm sorry. Who raised Makoto and Komaru? Because these two are the dumbest people I have ever experienced in a video game. I'm sorry. If you see a dead body in front of us, you're gonna sit there and go, there's no way. Um, no, she's just playing around. She's just, hmm? she's just, she's just there for funsies. What does that freak you out? You guys, you guys got no balls. You know that? They don't. It's there. Just nothing. Wait, is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you play in mine if you want. Yeah! The balls. Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop talking. Stop monologuing you and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> oh, I sure did, chum. It's the Monokuma file! Hey, sir. See ya later! Hey, sir. No way! No, that's you know, we gotta uh, sit there and, and take a wild guess of who did it. We gotta play freaking Uno and whoever loses is the killer. They can't, can't stop zooming in on her. You mean the corpse of one of our friends? Have to inspect all our other friends? Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no! That was uncalled for in my year. I hate it. I hate it, too. Help me! I, I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Please hey! tell me how. Thank you. Where do you plan on going? There's no way to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. You know when you die and you, like, release everything inside of you? Why has not a single person died and released everything inside of them? <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How could I not be? If we don't amass the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon, Makoto, you have to. That's what I'm saying. What, do you want to die? Such ignorance. Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. D you. Damn you! A dead body is an object? Piece of shit! Chihiro wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some in you. Yard? <laughs> Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Oh, everybody stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Biaki has said. Kyoko. Because if we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are at forfeit. And if Yaki is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed the hero, that's right. Then unless we do something, more victims can start piling. What? Forget more victims, we mess this up. We're all dead meat. Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. <laughs> What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually! <coughs> I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? <laughs> so then... In that case... Oh, in that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey! Um... Well, in a good mur in a good mystery, you don't want to go out on... You don't want to miss out on at least potential of a serial killer angle. Yeah! <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is waiting for you. Well, well, for now, I'll catch you guys at the class car. Okay. Hmm. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Hmm. Interesting. This is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else. You <laughs> son of a before bitch! Before something else happens, you need to shut the up. So, well, um... For now, Takamiya are gonna drop Toko off at her room. You still didn't bring this 
freaking loony bin to her room? <sighs> there is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation, Tatsu. What does that mean? We do not solve the mystery if we can't your own. Is that okay? So we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Ooh, investigation. First of all, I'd better check the monochroma file to see exactly what's going on. So the victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. Why was he out of his room at 2 a.m.? The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a ticket? Huh? Do you need something for me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know? Um, so what do you need? <laughs> I'm going to let you cooperate with me during this investigation. See, you're suspicious, and you're going to get us all killed. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent, the same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. So Stop all talking. Of, no, I just seem to have limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to come with you, you're doing it in the most arrogant way possible. Let's go. Though. Now then, shall we get started? Shh. But we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Biaki on this one. Well, can we hurry up and investigate the locker room? <clears throat> Dude had a real complex about being weak. Pretty sure you're all talking about it, right? Oh, I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more <clears throat> than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But does she really need to get stronger that badly? You already meant oh, you already mentioned it, but she was a girl, after all. Most girls aren't that all that strong. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. Cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. Mondo's account have been taking an attitude to the section of your handbook. <sighs> this locker room all the time. Now it's become the suite, the site of Chihiro, Chihiro's death. Well, why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else and carried hmm. here. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, well. but I still think she came here on her own, by choice. What makes you think hmm. you say that? She's been talking a lot about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? Well, according to Monokuma files, she was killed around 2 in the morning. She really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Kina and myself are usually in the locker room during the day. She was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Hmm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night? However. Perhaps. Perhaps. But it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come along. She did want to start exercising. But she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but she would also have come with someone else? Hmm. It's a possibility, I think. Look at how her eyes glow. Let me talk to us. Kyoko. No, that's not what I wanted. Kyoko. She took her time examining the hero cloak. She poked and prodded, going over every inch of her lifeless hmm. body. You're a very strange woman, you know, being able to touch a dead body with absolutely no trouble. That's what jeans do. She seemed to be concentrating pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. There's a dumbbell on the floor. And there's a blood stain. There's a blood that this is a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. The monokuma's vial said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Oh my gosh, she really got her dome bashed in with a dumbbell. <laughs> now I believe it's time for us to move on. Huh, what? already? New clues will magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. Let's go. That's true, but if you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. So pushy, I got caught up with the wrong person this time. So this is our next location. This place is related to the investigation? Hmm. Figure it out yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? 
Then, my nigga, you could have did this by yourself and left me alone. Hmm. Hmm. If I remember right, the card reader is meant to work with our handbook, right? What? Do you have an issue with that? If so, you can take it up with Monokuma. He said that then quickly and sharply clasped his Did hands you together. call for me? I did. That's right. You've been domesticated. It seems that, Mon that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, just about the card reader. Yep. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. Hmm. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. If there are some erotic terrorists on the prowl, the cell mounting Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. Hmm. And the, and the school regulations prohi prohibit anyone from leading someone else there, lending anyone else's Of course! Their handbook, right? Correctly correct. So then, that means only girls can get in the girls' locker room and boys can get in the boys' locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means. <laughs> Why are they so, like, pent on Chihiro's gender? Like, you notice that? Because it's like, they're mentioning Chihiro's weak because she was a girl. Chihiro can, um,. Why are they like so focused on the the locker rooms being boy and boy and girl? And you can only get into the boy ones. You get what I'm, you get what I'm saying? I can see right through you. See right through <laughs> me. Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since your hero was found in the girls' locker room, the kill. Oh, so the killer has to be a girl. Okay, I was very confused. So in other words, so the killer must be the one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. But am I wrong? <laughs> What? Oh, barring someone else is perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate prodigal son of the noble Togami family. Togami or Togami? So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hmm. Knowing you, will, I bet I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement. To things. Yeah. You're treating me like a puny appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, there's no, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're telling me that a loophole. It's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So, uh, Why are you? So sleepy. Just listen to me. It makes me want to pass out. Be more like Biafia and get your teeth together. Unbelievable. I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rest of your own damn self. That's fine. Well, I know you're unfortunately lacking in mental f facilities. Fa faculties. Faculties? So I'll fill you in myself. I'll tell you the main hall. <laughs> the main hall? That'll help you understand what's going on. No, you need to understand what the hell is going on. You freaking golden spoon, baby. Why did he call me with him? Like, if you're gonna be a female dog about everything, there's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e handbook. No way, there's three of them, but what are they doing <laughs> here? So you finally found them. Do you know why they're here, Biafia? <laughs> I was to find them by chance the other day. She was just a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these handbooks belong to. Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? Hmm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. Immediately turn on one of the handbooks, and when I did... Of course, the one you grabbed, the Sayaka's. You're hmm. right, this is Say Sayaka's handbook. Now, do you understand? This is key to that loophole I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. Alright, we don't need a recap of literally what he just said. Let's see. Yeah, now I understand. What? What's Very wrong? strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. 
left, and the one that must not turn on is I Leon. See. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled. Damn, he did get pummeled with baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. I mean, he got. Oh God, he got that worse. He literally got tied to the batting ring and pelted with baseballs going high. God knows how far. Damn it! How are you? I'm how are you? Now I'm. Sorry. What? Yeah. That E handbook is essential to life here. Crucial. Inter integral. Instrumental. A super big deal. There's no way it'd break that easily. But That's yeah. impossible! I say it wouldn't break, it would freaking break. It could withstand up to 10 tons of pressure and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it won't do crap. <sighs> oh, but even my amazing handbook does have a single weak point. I can't hear you! But it's a secret! I won't let you go break it anymore, Hannah. What? Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. hmm. Hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. Well, what? But you might ask, how could that be? What the hell? What's happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's undeniably. It's an undeniable fact that it's not broken. That's on. fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. I think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. <laughs> okay, then. This should be enough to start things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. It's true, we need to find out who <laughs> killed your hero. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite. <laughs> Certainly, I want to reveal your hero's killer more precisely. <laughs> I want to discover the truth of the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think you truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Shigeru? Don't make me repeat myself. Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. The murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, what? right? There's no one else that could <laughs> be. The murderous fiend who kills again and again. Wait a minute, I'm taking my pot out. Using a bizarre and brutal method. They're actually like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. Genocide Jack is on his like true 70s, 80s serial killer type. Like, they said he's killed dozens, thousands of people, but that's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us be the demented psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder, but words mean so little right now. I have some now provide it, and I can show you. I guess we're going to the library? <laughs> Hold on, there's still more here waiting to be checked. What else is here waiting to be checked? I already checked this. What else is here waiting to be checked? What? Is it you? No. Don't. Oh, wait, there's a mail. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. Yeah, the basis to believe that I can show you Jack like Jack is one of us. Okay. Is there really proof? <laughs> there's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence it's you It's all need. clear now. Said that evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that kills Shihiro. Evidence. Something like that really. Ah, oh, hey, you too. I don't know who that is. Oh, big trouble. I need your help. I don't have time to play with you. Leave us alone. Because, I mean... But it's an emergency. Emergency. Mom, please, you gotta help me. What? Please. It's a serious emergency. Please, please, you gotta help me. Just calm down, okay? Because, I mean... But, but it's an emergency. What is wrong with you? Well... Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. What should we do, Biafra? Very strange. This is Toko. I must admit, I am intrigued. What's your infatuation with Toko all of a sudden? Suppose we could take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. Yeah! Come on, hurry! Let's go. Like, why all of a sudden does Biakia curious about Toko? Does Biakia curious English? Is Toko inside some kind of emergency? 
Oh, ring the doorbell. Do I want to talk to these people before I can even go into Circle's room? Such ignorance. Hmm. What's this emergency? So, um... Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she can lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know? See how she was doing, but mm. when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out and kept, she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff. That's fine. She tried talking to herself. Yeah, good idea. Y yeah, good idea. That was not Makoto's voice. Might as well give it a shot. The door swung open slowly and silently. This is this thumbnail material. 